Hey everybody, Steven here, playing Subnautica Below Zero, and today covering the new update the devs released yesterday, September 13th. This is What the Dock, and with this you have the new docking module for the sea truck, the base piece here, and this is something that I covered a couple months ago in the experimental build. It's finally now over in the stable build, so everybody has access to this as long as you update your game. So, we're going to look at this, and then they've squashed a bunch of bugs but they've also added a bunch of other options in the menu so you can tailor the playing experience to yourself which is really cool we'll look at that also but let's get this game piece first here so we have the c truck dock you will need a titanium ingot advanced wiring kit and then four glass so it's not horrible with what you need in order to actually build this i thought it would actually be a lot more than this so that's nice to see and yeah, let's see let's shift this over all right so on the right hand side that's where you would enter right there and then the other side I'm trying to see where i'm going to put this let's go right there and then off this back end you can add more pieces we can get it to match up here there we go so if you wanted to, again, build this out from the base, but that's the only spot. So I don't think you can put this anywhere else that I remember, not even on the front end here, right? Yeah, it's just that one spot and then you can branch off from there. They didn't do it as a pass through. You actually pull this in here, then that door closes and then the water drains and then you can kind of tailor everything. So we'll look at this. I already have a C truck set up. They didn't do it as a pass through. I think that's the other option they could have done. That would have been cool. So this is like you literally drive this thing in and then you back it out. And actually, let me shift it today so we can see better on this. Well, we will pull this thing straight in. It's a tight fit. There we go. So you used to be able to pull just the sea truck into the moon pool. Now you can pull everything into this. I like the animation because this door closes, but then you still have access to your sea truck and all the modules, which is nice. And this thing can go way back here if you needed it to, and then you could literally exit out the back. So that's what it looks like docked. I did on the last video, I did mine where it went way out like this. But that's pretty cool looking, right? So we have that. Let's hop back in here. We'll look at what you can do because with this, you can change the color and stuff like that. Just like you can with the uh, moon pool here. So we got our cameras on it. Very cool. And then base color here. Let's change this. Let's go. I always like to go bright with it just because I want to be able to see what it is. We'll just go full-blown neon with all this stuff. Uh, those are the strips. Okay, I want to go base there, strip. Let's go yellow. Done. Yeah, name it. Uh, I don't know. What's uh, Nemo? There you go. I'm trying to think. First thing that popped in my head was something like that. All right. So we can see, we got the green in there. Only for certain access pieces, or uh, accent, sorry, pieces with this is it's just changing the color. Kind of wish I did it for the rest of this. It may not even change all of that until I actually backtrack out now that I'm thinking about it. We'll double check that. Cause yeah, that outside of that one piece, it didn't do anything. So we have that, and then this is where you can go to the rest of your base. But that's pretty much all you're going to do right here. I don't know. You just build them and then float out and put them in, because I was thinking, like with the uh, moon pool, that's where you can make your upgrades for this. And it backs you out, so you don't have to do this up to this point, and then I can back out. Um, now let's hop out. But I know you can also do it with the, uh, what am I thinking of? The advanced fabricator, right? I'm horrible at remembering the names of all this stuff. 
modification station. So if you have that, you can build your upgrades as well. Moon pool, you could have it there and then you could build it, but it's not inside of this, which I think is, unless I'm just missing it and I'm not seeing it right there. That did not change the color on this. I'm gonna try that again. I don't know why I did that. Did it keep the green right there? Kept that green. Let's try this again. Let's drive this in here. Tight fit. Tight fit. Smash forward. This can be a process of like backing out, going in, backing out, going in. Come on. Come on. Make it work. It's harder with more modules also because you have more things that can get stuck all right let's try this again yeah it's saying done huh i figured you'd see it right there as it's changing colors hmm don't know why didn't change that. Maybe we got a bug here. Vehicle upgrade console. Done. All right. And then I think we got a bug maybe. Bummer on that. That'll get fixed. Dev team is great at doing stuff like that, but I, I'm don't know why this isn't changing color on it. That's odd. Well, we got Nemo on there, and it's the right color. <laughs> All right, so we have this. So very cool base piece here. I like the look. I think, like I said, the other version they could have done would be like a pass-through tube. So you would have this, and then it would keep going. It would repair it, and then it'd send it out the other way. And then you could still branch off part of the base on one side of it. But overall, very cool item to add into this versus just using the moon pool there. So let's look at the other options and the stuff that they've changed here. So this is going to be in the menu. First big one is unstuck. I love that they've added this. I like games when they have that just in general, because there are those times where you do accidentally get stuck and then it's like, cool. Now I have to backtrack to the last save. So you do have that now. And then in the options, when we look at gameplay, now it prompts you when you are doing this. It says, hey, do you want to do this? You will lose the option for achievements with this. If you agree, then you have all of this. So we can change this. Player needs to eat, thirst, body temperature decreases. So all this stuff you get to now, and I'm in creative mode right now, but I get to change all of this based off the game mode now. Crafting requires resources, requires blueprints. So if I was in normal mode, my assumption is all of these would be checked because in those modes, you have to have all these. So you're essentially tweaking all the variables between modes now, right? Allow permadeath, oxygen, but then you get down to the bottom here. I like this vegetarian diet. So you can't eat animals for nourishment. Um, but with this, you can change the day length, night length, bad weather frequency, player damage multiplier, vehicle damage multiplier, predator damage multiplier, and then creature aggression multiplier. So that's normal. We can go all the way up to a 10. <laughs> so five is normal. We'll go there. Um, let's see what that does. Let's change that. All right, let's see what this does. know how fast I would see it Is this iceberg new what I don't remember this iceberg or no I remember that hole I think been a minute since I've just hopped into play. Yeah, no, that's been there. It's moving faster.
So yeah, you can do the adjustment to that. Let's see the... Uh, and I'm actually going to just use console commands for this. Oh, that shot me way off. All right, so let's do... The uh, Calicerate here. Well, let's see how aggressive this guy gets. Oh yeah, there you go. Woo, 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 woo. See, I'm wondering how you would gauge that. Is there frequency to like turn around? Because usually they'll attack you and then they'll kind of leave for a second. I don't think he's going to let up. <laughs> I think he's just going to keep, yeah, he's just going to keep coming back. So it's this, they're super relentless now. Let's try. Let's get these guys going after each other. <laughs> now the fun stuff that you can do if you're going to spawn in creatures and just let them just go at each other and do some creature battling dude did that shadow leviathan just like he's bailed on me what are you doing dude let's do five of them All right, whoa whoa there we go whoa <laughs> uh, take off the <laughs> Yeah, they're just bailing. All right. I think they pushed them through the map, too. Where'd the close rate go? Yeah, look at it. It's just staying on top of me. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, all these cool adjustments that you can do with this. Whoa. Whoa. It stayed on me enough I could ride on top of them. What? <laughs> I want to ride that guy again. That was cool. Come on. Come on. No. I thought the day-night cycle would go faster than this. With the multiplier there. Or wait, did I slow it down? So it lasts one hour now? Oh, I messed up on that. I think. Let's see, where's the moon? Holy smokes, there we go. So it's kind of like it's giving you the options that you would have with the console commands. All right, I need to change this guy's going to not leave me alone. Uh, let's change that all the way down to a zero. All right, go on. Yeah, leave me alone. Yeah, because you have the speed adjustments that you can do with the console commands, and it kind of seems like this is doing the same thing. I don't even know if it was daytime, though. Look at the moon's just, like, going crazy fast. But, yeah, you can adjust the speed of the game. Am I in perpetual night? Yeah. <laughs> if you wanted to do that, I guess, and just see like this planet whirling around you. All right, let's 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 tweak that. I don't know that I want that. Let's go. Yeah, because this is literally zero seconds. It's one second at nighttime. All right, uh, let's go two. It's moving around me. Is it two seconds? And I don't even know if those are seconds. Those must be minutes. So two minutes, two minutes to one minute. So let's go one minute and let's see what that does. One. Because I'm trying to tweak it so it's even. Night to day. Yeah, there we go. So it should be one minute on both. See this, just speed through this. That's really awesome. 
But again, you're tailoring the gaming experience to what you want with it. So a lot of cool stuff in this update. Um, the options here, this reminds me of the mode that they talked about where they wanted like a chill mode. You could literally through this tweak it to create that, which is, hey, I don't want to worry about X amount of things or whatever it may be. And now you get to tailor it towards that. Or if you want to make it so it's like, man, I want it to be more difficult. Well, then there you go. You can make it super difficult if you want to with this. So that's going to be it for this one, everybody. I don't know what happens beyond this. I know they're still porting a lot of stuff over to the original Subnautica. We should get an update on that here soon. This came sooner than I thought. I thought this was going to come out maybe like sometime October to December because a lot of people have been asking me about this. But I don't know what happens from here. They just announced Moonbreaker. So we have that to, uh, coming out. And then after that, I'm hoping we get news on Subnautica 3. I'm expecting maybe sometime late next year at the earliest we will have early access for the game because they are so early in the development of the game, right in the story and stuff like that. And we may get a little bit earlier, but man, I just I know there's a lot of the stuff that needs to happen with that. And they've switched over to the Unreal Engine. So I'm hoping that gets them more speed with their work as well so maybe we do get a little bit earlier because of that but that's going to be it for this one everybody if you like the video hit the like button for me if you want to continue to follow along with all my content hit the subscribe button for me and as always thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video